Hi, I'm Daniel Isbell. This is my 1980 TR-182 November 4 777 Sierra. We're based in Greeley, Colorado. My YouTube channel is Daniel Isbell. Give us a look. Alrighty. Takeoff power is set. Fuel flow up. Oil pressure good, oil temperature good. 60. Feels like a fatter 172. Yeah. So, how did you get into flying? Well, my grandfather was in the Air Force, and uh, you know, kind of, I grew up around planes because of him. And in high school, I got a job working line service at an uncontrolled airfield, just like this one. And I met a flight instructor and worked out a deal where I would save up some money for flight lessons and he would give them to me. So I started started flight lessons my senior year of high school, finished right after I graduated and been flying ever since. That's awesome. What was that? My cell phone. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that was cool. Yeah. I'll get the news down here. Okay. And what's the power setting here? Um, come down to 25 inches of manifold pressure and 2300. And let's pull the fuel flow back to 16 gallons an hour. Indicated right here. Oh, I can see why people like the 180. So, is this your first aircraft that you have owned? First one to own, yep. First one to own. I have, the majority of my hours are in a 172. Okay. And uh, almost all of my flight training and and in rental for years after that, I have I have some time in other complex airplanes like a 210. Uh, not a, a 210. Um, I got some time in a Bonanza. I haven't done any multi-engine training yet. Yeah. Uh, it's all single-engine land. And so, yeah, the majority. You know, I have about 700 hours, and you know, 650 of those are all in Cessnas between them. 152, the 172, and 182. Go ahead and start a steep turn. Sure. Why don't you just do a steep 180 and let's go south. Okay. Clear, clear left? Clear left. <laughs> right on. Thank you. Yeah, I feel at home in this airplane. Yeah, yeah. I bet you do. That was fun. <laughs> with, time, with time in a 172, you feel at home in these. Yeah, I think I think the controls feel a little bit heavier. Yeah. And definitely nicer. One thing that's really cool I like about this. There it went. That's a button I was looking for. Visual. We'll do a visual of 1.7, and it'll give us glide slope and localizer as if it were an ILS. Wow. I really like that a lot. What do we do here? You want to do a full stop? Yeah, we've come to a full stop. Okay. Get the wheels out. Steerman traffic, Skyline triple seven here is starting right base one seven full stop. Steerman traffic. Hey, you got the flight controls? I have the flight controls. Your flight controls. I'll just slow it down. Oh, 
you got an awesome airplane, Daniel. Well, thank you very much. Really appreciate you taking me up. Absolutely. Appreciate. He's ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> ben has just been talking. He is obsessed with planes. Oh, well, yeah. I think all good pilots are. <laughs> Absolutely right. Oh, there's uh, Josh Flowers. Yep. So, Dan, I'd just take it all the way to the ramp if I were you. Just my idea. Yeah, I think it's kind of crowded up there. I don't know. My, well, we're going to park right here next to Mr. Flowers and say hello to him. Oh. Yeah, looks like he's setting up to get out. Or... Daniel's 182 was truly a sweet ride, and it only further solidified my love for retractable gear Cessnas. Thanks once again to Daniel, and go check out his channel to find out more about him and his beautiful TR-182.